Hello, hello. And welcome back once again to Sapienza and the Landslide Missions. And today we are going to be taking care of the Crank It 211 challenge. You don't need anything with you for this one besides your lockpick. Uh, and we're also going to take care of the uh, Big Brother Discovery of Feet because I missed that out in the actual video. That was relating to the assassination, should I say. So right off the bat, Hello. what we're going to do from the start is make our way into the crypt under the church. We're going to lockpick the crypt door. Make our way inside and we're going to retrieve the crowbar that's in the tomb here. And then from here we're going to make our way back outside. And we're going to head over to the mortuary toilets area. Now at this point I also recommend grabbing the boat keys while you're over here. I forget to do it though. And I'll have to come back for them later on. So once we're at the toilets of the mortuary, we're going to lockpick the cellar or sewer door. And we're going to overflow the sink and duck into the sewers themselves. And that will distract a bodyguard who's going to come in and turn the sink off. And when he does, we're going to knock him out and drag him in here with us. So here he is now. He's turning off the tap, so we're just going to knock him out. Grab his gun, grab his body, drag him into the sewers and take his outfit. Right, so that's everything we need now all set up. All we have to do now is make our way to the promenade area. Now, like I said, this is unrelated to this actual challenge, but I am actually going to go around here and turn off the laptop in the van. This is going to get you the big brother challenge, although we're going to have to wait for this woman to bugger off. Now, I should have done this in uh, one of the other challenges, one of the other assassination missions, and I completely missed it out. So we're going to take care of it now. So as soon as this woman walks away, yes, we can just so tamper with the laptop. So now that she's moved uh, yes. off As sufficiently. There you go. That'll get you the Big Brother Challenge. Completely unrelated to what we're doing now. So we will now continue on with the Crank It to 11 Challenge. So like I was saying, we're going to make our way to the promenade. I'm in no rush because we've got a bit of time. Let's get a beer. You've noticed I've also got the Make You Sick Dark Gun. I find this weapon incredibly useful. Especially for getting past troublesome uh, enforcers for the most part. But today we are going to trank a couple of guys. Namely one of the crew members and the security guard we literally just passed. But we don't want to do it too early. So what we're waiting for is for Marco to make his way into the church. He's just outside the church at the moment having his photograph taken. And when he goes into the church, we will then tranquilize, uh, not tranquilize, we will make sick the guard and one of the crew members in this local vicinity. So Marco is just making his way into the church now. So these are the two guys in question. Unfortunately, they're both right where I want them at the same time. So we're going to have to improvise this a little bit. We're going to pull out our Make You Sick gun and we're going to shoot the security guard. He will make his way down the stairs and out of the area. And once he's safely moving away, I'm going to reload my gun. Locate the roadie. Looks like him over there. That's the tech guy, I believe. So we're going to trank him as well. And that will be him. He will wander off in the other direction towards our left. And as you can see, Marco is now making his way over to the stage area. 
So I was a little bit early still. Could have done it a little bit later, but in the case of the, the roadie at least, he's going to be quite a while. He's got a, quite a long way to go to get to a, uh, a lavvy. But I lost track of the security guard. But never mind, because Marco is almost in position now. And he will make his way behind the stage and he will stop directly below this speaker briefly. And at which point we are going to crouch and use our crowbar on the speaker's harness. And we could our escape. Head towards an exit. So there you go, that will get you the uh, Crank It to 11 challenge. And all we've got to do now is make our way to the exit. And it's not until I actually get to the exit that I notice that it's still locked and I've forgotten to pick up the boat key. Which is why I mentioned it earlier in the video. It's highly recommended you pick up the boat key while you're collecting the security guard's outfit. Otherwise you're going to have to do what I'm about to have to do. And I get here, I still haven't realised. Uh, um, uh, um, oh nuts. Right, go and get the key. Go and get the key. Run all the way. Oh, it's a long way, my poor legs. I'm already tired. It's been a long day. So the keys are just down here by the souvenir stand. Or interview stand or whatever it is. And running again. Oh god, blimey, I need a holiday. All the way back to the pier and into our awaiting speedboat. So there you go, that's the Crank It to 11 challenge. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.